those with bad credit quite frequently do need to borrow money. And many people might say that if you have bad credit, there's good reasons why you shouldn't borrow. There's good reasons why people shouldn't lend to you. But everyone has things that happen in their lives where sometimes you need a little bit of extra cash. You might be in between jobs, you might have fluctuations of income. The situation might be where for several weeks you're down on earnings and you know that the earnings are coming back when you're starting some new job in two or three weeks time. You might have had a washing machine break, some other unexpected cost, your car needs to be repaired. Whatever it is, there are good reasons why people need to borrow even if they have bad credit. And here is how. But do you actually have bad credit? Did you know that a quite significant proportion of people who are in the bad credit category are not actually that bad and would probably qualify for better products if they went and looked for them? Many people would think, hey, you might have missed a few payments. You might have even had a default at some point in the past. You might have had a county court judgment placed against you. There are many things that people think are problems with their credit when in actual fact they're not. You might think that you're incredibly deep in debt and actually relative to a lot of people, you're not. And so actually your situation might not be as bad as you think. It's easy to self-deprecate when you're in one of those situations, but actually you can just go and check. Why don't you go and see what your credit report looks like with the three big credit reference agencies. You can get these reports for free with Experian, Equifax and TransUnion. Some of them will charge you if you go direct through their own service, but for example, with Equifax, you can go to things like ClearScore to go and look at exactly the same data. So make sure you check. You might be surprised to find out your credit score is pretty decent. Now let's cover the options that you have if you want to borrow money and you have bad credit. Your best option is to subscribe to this channel so that I can tell you more about how you can improve your finances, earn more money and make more financial services products over time. Make sure you hit the bell to get notifications every time one of my videos comes out and they come out on a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. And the second best option is to get a credit card. Make sure you go and check out the special video I made about best credit cards for people with bad credit or people who are new to credit. There'll be links up here or down there and I'll put a link in the description description as well. Now there aren't that many providers out there really you're talking about um, the three big players in the market who are New Day, these are Aquacard, Marblecard, a few other uh, different credit cards that they operate for people uh, in these circumstances. The Vanquist who have been in the market a uh, very long time and have a lot of credit cards, mostly under the Vanquist brand, but they have other similar credit cards that they operate as well. And Capital One who are particularly known as one of the very early forerunners in providing credit to people who other people would not give credit cards to. There's other providers like Tesco Bank, 118 Money and Barclay Card, make sure you go and check out the video to find out all the details. The worst thing you can do if you have bad credit and you need to borrow money is to go and get a high cost short term loan. This is where the marketing dollars are spent. You will see adverts on TV for these things. These are the types of loans where there are thousands and thousands of percent APR. Although many like Wonga have either gone bankrupt, have shut down their businesses, have been outlawed or something else in the last few years. There are still several of these operating and they can get away with it because they play just below where the legal threshold is. You'll only borrow for a very short period of time until your next payday or in some cases a few months. And in those cases you'll be paying either thousands of percent or a few hundred percent APR at a time. These things are incredibly bad for you if you are needing to borrow money and actually you can probably find that you'll be able to get a different form of lending at a much lower rate through one of your other options. If you're only borrowing a relatively small amount, go and make sure you check if you can get a credit card. Most of these initial credit cards will offer you credit limits of 250, in some cases as much as 300 or 500 pounds uh, for the majority of people. So if that's the amount you're looking to borrow, there's no harm in checking, do a soft check through one of the comparison websites and then you will know for sure. If you can't get yourself a credit card or if you need to borrow just that little bit more money and you're not accepted by the mainstream lenders and you don't want to pay thousands of percent, one option to consider are guarantor loans. Now Amiga Loans is by far the biggest one of these lenders but there's a few others that you should consider and these loans all pretty much come in at about 49.56789%, generally 49 point something percent APR. It is quite expensive, it is more expensive than a credit card, 
but it's actually considerably cheaper than any of the fixed term loan options that you probably have. And so if you're in that situation and you really have to borrow that money, this may be a good option for you. There's added benefits in that you can always repay early without having to pay penalties. And if you have somebody like a family member or somebody you trust and they trust you that will vouch for you, this can be a great way for borrowing if it suits your needs. Don't forget the overdraft. Although recently overdrafts have changed at many of the leading banks and now instead of some of the complicated fees you pay things like 30-40% APR on them, that can still be a cheaper way to borrow than getting one of these loans or a credit card depending on what APR you get. Now, Overdrafts are a little bit more difficult because they're directly linked to your current account and in many cases you may not already have one. But you might surprise yourself by going to check to see if you're eligible. Lots of banks will offer you the opportunity to click and check if you're eligible and if you are they'll give you an overdraft. In some cases that can be a few hundred, a thousand or even more pounds. And if you're needing that buffer on top of the money that you already have that can be an excellent way uh, to borrow. The best thing about overdrafts is that you can dip in and out of them and so you're only paying interest for the amount of time you actually need the money for. With the loan you're paying interest for the whole term, whether or not you actually needed that amount of time to borrow the money for. So overdrafts can be a great option even if they have actually gone up in price in recent times for many people. The way I'd go about it is I would first check if you're eligible for lower rate products before you go and look for the higher rate ones instead. And the best way to do it is to go onto Money Supermarket, Totally Money, any other comparison website of your choice, go and sign up, create your account, input all your details, and then go and check credit cards first, then loans, just to see what's available. You may find yourself surprised by the fact that even if you have some bad credit markers on your file, you might be pre-approved or have a very high likelihood of being accepted on one of the credit cards or loans which have a much lower rate than what you were expecting. If so, congratulations, go ahead and get one of those things. But if you don't qualify, those providers can often show you some of the higher rate products. In particular, most of the near prime credit cards, those that are designed for people with bad credit or no previous credit history, are available through these comparison websites. You'll be able to tell if Aqua, Vanquish, Capital One, Tesco Bank, whoever it is that you're looking for are able to accept you. If not, you can go and begin looking through some of the more specialist comparison websites that maybe have more of these on their books. There are specialist brokers out there that have guarantor loans, some of the high cost loans, as well as mid-priced options on there. Make sure you go and look for those before you go directly to lenders. That way you'll be able to compare lenders that maybe the premium comparison websites do not have, but that might be more suitable for you. The one thing I really want you to think about before you go and do any of these options is whether there is another route for you to take. First, consider whether you really do have to borrow the money. In lots of cases, you can be creative with finding alternative solutions to the problem that you're trying to raise the money funds for. There might be something that you can get that is cheaper than what you're trying to get. Sometimes it's just worth spending the five minutes to make sure that you do genuinely need to borrow the money. And if you do, that you need to borrow as much as you're planning to. Number two, go and check if there's a cheaper source of funds that you can get. If you can ask family, that can be a way to borrow money without paying extortionate fees. And if you're gonna go down the guarantor route, this is essentially the same thing because ultimately they're gonna be liable. If your need for money is not quite that urgent, you might want to go and consider delaying the purchase by a month or two. And in those cases, you can do one of two things. You can either wait until you have the cash to pay for it or, your credit improves, especially if you have some recent bad markers on your credit profile in the last one to three months. If you can wait for those to go away, you might be able to qualify for considerably cheaper products at that point rather than going and applying for one now. So if this thing can wait, that might be a really good option. I hope you guys found this useful. If you have, please make sure you give us a like so that this channel can grow and help more people over time. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. Make sure you hit the bell so you get notifications every time one of my videos comes out. And my videos come out on a Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I'll see you guys later.